Well, if it was a secret, it's probably not a secret anymore. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sesso here and I hate asset gathering. Now, what I mean by that is I hate going into Google. Let's say I need a crown, right? I type in crown. I put, I, you know, I put PNG at the end because why not, right? I go to images. I see the same three crowns I've been using since literally 2014 and I just go, you might actually get lucky though and you might get some clip art ones and it just it, maybe it makes sense maybe it doesn't for you but for me I, I i need my assets so it dawned on me right i'm just sitting there i'm just like i need a crown asset in specific for the record i was just like i don't know what to do because i don't want to use the same exact ones insert ai now, I know a lot of people also wonder with themselves, and I also wonder too, and there's also no like clear, you know, timeline or point, but it's bound to happen where AI overall is a little bit scary for us designers, but also scary for the entire world technically too, right? But one thing people are scared of, I think artists in general is being replaced, but I do think in this context here, I'm not doing anything that replaces anything. I'm just sharing with you guys a really strong way to, uh, I guess, utilize AI for an asset-based gathering system. Let me show you. So I'm not, I'm not really sure there's really a secret or not. However, I honestly never considered using mid journey or like a dolly or whatnot for this case in specific. So let's say I need a crown, right? So I'm going to go and type in slash imagine. I have mid journey in this like private server for the record. Uh, this is the AI that I'm using for this video. So prompts, let's say I need a 3D crown, right? Render. And one of the, I think one of the most like key things I can put on this is on a white background. Don't know why I wasn't thinking about that before, but if you, if we want a crown or like a chair or something like that, on a white background really help us separate the actual image from the background and make it very easy for us to of course cut it out right so you know i want it to be gold and tall enter watch what happens oh. huh scheduled maintenance is happening now oh my god hold that thought <laughs> one hour later all right we're worried so imagine right 3d crown on a white background tall gold let's just see what we're gonna get honestly i already kind of know what we're gonna get but i'm gonna show you guys how cool it actually is i mean genuinely this is like super sick no so the fact that it's already on a white background is really cool so for the record if you don't really know about mid journey that much we have a few things we can actually do with this as well right this first one on the top is so unique it's so dope and one it would take me hours to do this in blender but also for the record it's just really unique so i want to try that one so that would usually do is i would get some versions of it so v1 i can get four different more versions right also i, I feel like a lot of you guys already know about mid journey i'm just kind of like if you guys don't, I'm showing you guys, you know, how to use it. Then with whatever version I end up liking, I just press a little button right here, upscale, and I can just wait a few seconds and it'll give me a nice little upscaled version of it. And just like that, we have the upscaled version. So now I can open up in browser just like so. I'll right click, save the image. Then we'll just drag it into Photoshop just like so, and we're good to go. So it, it's just more, it's just kind of mind blowing to me how simple it actually is to get some really cool unique assets. And of course, what I usually just press W my keyboard, you select subjects, and then hopefully it cuts out better than this, but it did it in this case. So this time I'm gonna have to use like the, the magic wand tool, get myself a nice cut, press Q to go into quick mask mode. And I'll just go ahead and take my brush for a second. Boom, and call that cut out just like so. Do like this, take a little white background here. And now I have a free little fun asset that I can just basically use in my design for personal use for the record. I also think for, I don't wanna kind of put a little asterisk on this, this i don't know if you can actually use ai generated assets on commercial products so like if you're doing it for like a client or a big client or whatever corporation you probably can't actually do that but for personal use you absolutely can which is one of the main reasons why i don't want to also spend 30 50 bucks on like a random crown render off a of blender so i can go render it myself it's one of those things right now one of the cool parts is that i also know assets are very specific to usually like a, a certain environment or something that you're kind of working on and having the wrong asset can also really hinder your stuff so follow me for a second if i were to click on this like crown we're back on crowns again right and if i were to like copy this image i can copy the image head back over to my uh discord paste the image just like so right open original click and copy the actual url go back into discord and i want to do type slash and imagine and then do inspired by with quotation or what is with, with, colons right and i'm going to paste that link put a comma in there and also then describe a little bit of the vibe that i kind the crown that i would like so i'm going to say like dark 
right spike e and then on a white background right that's pretty important if, without that we're you know kind of screwed so the cool thing is you can put as many image references as you want as well so you can have one you can have three i think up to six i actually i say i really don't really know but i've done up to six personally uh and i got some really cool results if you like curate the actual thing that you want which makes it a lot more easier for designers themselves to take an asset that they really really want and create what they actually want to do I think that's pretty powerful, but for a quick second, we take a quick look. It actually created a really cool asset. And for the record, if you guys like, probably didn't notice, but I didn't even put the word crown. It was able to kind of figure out the shape itself and kind of manipulate that shape. So that's without me even saying the word crown. I'm sure if I put the word crown, it'd probably be a little bit more curated, but look how freaking dope the bottom one is. Like, I don't know about you, but that's, 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 it's kind of mind blowing when you kind of think about it, right? Cause you, you would want this to be on like, let's say your dark, you know, atmosphere, background, Valkyrie warrior type of thing. You're not gonna want a regular crown you're gonna want something more curated and i think this is kind of how i would see uh, ai being used respectfully from artists and non-artists like a lot more easier than like, it's not a replacement thing right but that's honestly it that is the secret that i've been just basically using for a few different things actually just last week i actually made a poster design where the actual crown and the table were both ai generated and the cool part was no one really pointed out because one for the fact it doesn't really matter it's an asset right but this is where i kind of feel like the idea of ai and actual like designers combining and all not being like really toxic or odd right using the ai as more of a supporting feature rather than a replacement is a super super cool thing in my opinion if you are a designer and you see another designer use an ai generated asset for their poster do you take it away from the actual design or do you actually just say like you just tip the hat and you call it next I'm really curious, honestly, because the way I see it, I see it as a way of if I Google crown on Google and I get a really cool crown or whatever, if I don't, but if I can actually generate a really cool crown that you still have to actually curate these assets and make them actually work, it becomes more of a situation between like, it's not being replaced again. It's just kind of like a support. I don't know. Is it copium? I, I have no idea. It hasn't stopped my blender learning process still because I kind of still want to know, but that's all I got. Seso HQ out. Just to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive guys and uh yeah later much love peace enjoy your weekend and if you guys end up creating some cool assets you don't even gotta tell anybody you just it's for you